Hi friends, today I am going to show you a Linux tutorial that is how to use this command. That is a command is called as a change directory. That is the cd command. So, so I will open a Okay. So this command is used for changing the directory from one directory to another directory or returning back from one directory to another directory. So you can use the directory name or you can use the directory path to change between the directories. And there are certain commands and these are the basic commands which are used in the Linux for traversing between the directories. So I am just going to show you how to do these things and you should know that these are the basic commands which you need to know while working in the command that is in the terminal what we call as a command prompt in the windows so here we call it as a terminal so how to open terminal means you just need to right click on the desktop or, or any other shortcut places you can just open click this button open in the terminal it will just open a window for you or else you can go to system preferences just go to uh, system just go to the application system tools and terminal you can just click it here and you can open the terminal here without any issues I just keep it as it is here and I am just going to close this terminal and by default whenever you are working in the terminal or whenever you are trying to open a terminal this is the first terminal which I have opened for you and you can see here a tilt symbol will be given here if I go to application system tools and I click this button terminal you can see that it opens in the terminal with a tilt symbol but I am just clicking the desktop here and I am just going to right click and click open in terminal so here you can see that it opens with the default directory on the desktop and now I'm just going to show you another option called I'm just going to open this Linux command and I'm just going to right click and click open in terminal so here you can see that it opens a default folder called Linux command so from this you can understand that by default that when wherever you are clicking that open in terminal button it will by default open the folders location so now <coughs> We can just go into the pot here. So before that, I'll just open this location so that you can understand easily without any issues. Yeah, CD. I'm just going to enter the CD and I'm just going to look the help command. If you just give double hyphen and HELP, you can see the help options. For example, I'm just going to give, sorry, I'm just going to give LS, which is used for listing the directories, double hyphen HELP. Here you can see the list of options which are available. So, regarding this, I will show you in detail in my next video. So, right now we can see in clear about the changing directories commands so for the first option is called cd space dot so i'm just going to hit cd space dot here you can see that it will by default open the default directory which is available here so usually don't use this command in much so i'll just go to the next command called cd space double dot okay what is the use of this command cd space double dot so if you see here i'm just going to hit enter and if you see here it was in a default location called desktop if i hit enter it will go to the previous directory so i'm just going to 
use a list command that is ls here you can see that the desktop folder is here for example if I need to go into the directory or you need to type CD and desktop and you need to be conscious in your spelling because Linux is case sensitive so if you type desktop it will not go into the directory so you can see so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the stop and just use the tab button to auto complete the sentence this is going to hit enter and here you can see it goes into the desktop directory okay and here I will also use this command ls and pwd this is nothing but present king directory both this command are use I'll just differentiate between them use it for the same purpose okay now ls so I will also tell you in detail about clear command So clear clear is used for clearing the terminal commands whichever you have in default so I'm just going to hit clear enter but whenever you are typing the command and hitting enter those commands will be available you can just go move the button here to see all the commands whichever you have typed and the clear will just by default leave you some space and it gives you some clear view of all the terminal so that is what it was used and now you have seen about cd space double slash which was used for going changing into the previous directory and i will show you in detail now let us see what is mean by PWD present working directory PWD is used for checking the presently working directory location if you see you can see that it was showing the root and desktop I'm working in a user called a root so it was showing in the uh, root home folder and the desktop is a folder which is available for the root and I will also show you this command cd space hyphen this hyphen just hitting enter you can see the default you can see the default home location for this directory so both the command are similarly same for example I am just going into the so I, I will tell you in future so let's see what is mean by I will explain this in the future because you need to know both these commands before getting understand this command and I will show you this command cd space directory name so here I am going to give D, which is a, a desktop I'm just going to hit the enter so that is sorry I'm just going to hit tab if I give tab double tab it will show you all the details of the command which are starting from the D I just so if so if you give you and give double tab there is no command available here so if you you L and you just double tap there's no uh, folders are uh, available here so now what we can see I'm just going to list okay I'll just give <coughs> P and hit uh, double tap so if you see you can see the the folders which are starting the letter P will be available here so you can just type I and you just hit a tab button 
the folder will get uh, completed and you can just hit enter to go into that folder and if you need to confirm in which directory you are working you can just hit pwd and hit enter you can see that it was inside the root and it was inside the pictures for you are working in the pictures for just typing cd space double dot and hit enter i have just moved into the previous working directory so let's go to the next command called cd space direct path so what i'm going to do here is cd space is going to minimize this. I'm just going to go into the root home. I'm just going to the documents folder. Here I'm going to create a folder called test. I have just saved it. I just closed it. Oh yeah. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going into that folder. That is I'm just go directly going to give the directory path of that folder to move into that folder. So I'm just going to hit CD change directory plus D. I'm just going to auto complete it. Documents and here if you don't know what are the folders which are available inside this folder you can just double tap since there was only one folder inside the tab it uh, within the single tab it uh, actually takes all the takes the folder name by default but if you have multiple folders for example i will just show you go into the documents just going to give test one closing it yeah now i'm just going to double tap so if you see that the two folders have been displayed so this is how you are going to uh, use the auto complete button that is a tab button now I have just given the path of the folder I'm just going to hit the enter so if you see it was changed into test folder and now I'm going to give PWD hit enter so if you see you presently working in this directory so you can also copy this location and by default if you move pre to the previous tab and here if you just paste this here you can hit enter so that you can by default go into this directory i think you are clear to change between the directories and now we can go to the next option called tilt symbol and also the forward slash symbol the tilt symbol is nothing but home directory and the forward slash is nothing but root directory so you need to keep in mind before before working on this so what I'm going to give is I am working in this user so I need to go to the home directory of this user so what I'm going to give is just hit CD and this tilt symbol which was nearby the numerical number one and above the tab button just press shift and hit that symbol I'm just going to hit enter you can see that it has gone into the directory and you need to confirm that the tilt symbol was available here so then only uh, you can confirm that uh, you are in the user's home directory and you can also confirm by typing pwd and check that it was inside the user's for home folder and and i can also list listing the directories i can also type ls and hit the enter you can see here all the folders are available here which belongs to the root user now we can see what is mean by forward slash user users it's going to clear and here i'm just going to type cd space forward slash and hit enter if you see here it was changed into a root directory and you can also confirm that by 
typing pwd and here you can see it was by default came into the root directory the symbol and here also you can see that it was in the root directory the root directory is nothing but it will have more system folders which was similar to that you, which you are seeing in the system 32 in your windows operating system here in the root uh, root directory the folders will be available for example i will just list the folders for you i'll just hit here just use for listing the directories just going to list it by typing ls command if you see here these are all the system folders which are available by default in your Linux operating system and right now I am working in a root user which is the administrative user for the Linux operating system now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change into the other users location that is other login uh, for that I'm going to use yes you right now I'll just show you what uh, the difference between the user and uh, administrative user and I will just explain this uh, in detail about this command in my next video I'm just going to yes you and take him if you see that I just came into the taken user and you can see I just came into that user and I'm in the root directory and the I'm just going to hit PWD and here you can see I still I'm in the root directory so I'm just going to type CD space till symbol so now I'm going to type pwd here you can see i am inside home directory inside the taken users home folder and if you just list the if you just list the details you can see the desktop folders document folders which are belonging to the taken users so i'll just show you the difference here i have just created inside the document folder and here I will just go into the document folder and show you I'll just list here you can see there is no folder which is available set by this you can confirm that I am inside the taken direct users folder location so this is how you will use this CD command for changing the directory and if you have any queries you can just post the command in my below my video and thank you for watching the video i will produce my next video regarding more commands about the linux